This is Damon Stevens with Finwell Builders. Today is Sunday, September 11th, 2022, in the stock market prep for the week. It's going to be an exciting week, so I'm hoping you're ready. Uh, we have CPI numbers coming out on Tuesday, which could shake the market. So just be careful of that. Uh, if you're long on this bull run, just be careful. Make sure you're locking in some profits just in case uh, we do get a reversal. A lot of it's going to come out to what the news is. Last time Jerome spoke to us, uh, it was very negative. Uh, then he spoke to us and it was very positive. So we're just, uh, and then this last time it was neutral. So we just got to be careful on what's coming out uh, this Tuesday. So just be careful out there and uh, let's get right into it. Take a look at what we need to ready, get ready for this week and take a look at what's going on in the market. So on Friday, we closed out. Dow Jones down, up 1.19%, NASDAQ up 2.11%, and S&P 500 up 1.53%. So pretty green. So, you know, continue that bull run, right? Kind of pulled up, pulled back a little bit and just kind of ran up for the day. So this was kind of like that Friday light float day, floating to the top. It happens um, quite often, actually. On the scanner, we didn't actually hit anything off the scanner. So just to be aware of that. So Pixie with multi-day trade for last week. Uh, you can see just this continuous gradual climb from, well, we had 11 Eleven dollars and twelve cents back up to twenty-seven, then the thirty-three, then the thirty-six. I told you we we're going to hit thirty-six, uh, but actually we went a little bit higher than what I expected. So we hit that thirty-five ninety-four pullback, uh, and then we topped out at uh, thirty-nine fifty-three, just short of forty dollars. So uh, what a run! Now it's kind of pulling back down here, down the fifty. So I don't know if we're going to get how much we're going to get next week, but. What a huge run. So hopefully you caught some of that because that's just a, um, a crazy, crazy week on uh, Pixie. On DocU after earnings, you know, we were down here at $53, hit a high of 68. Pulled back down just below on the 50-day moving average, came up to the 20 here. So we were at 61 on the low on Friday and 65 on the high. So not as much as you got on that first run, but uh, definitely strong. Looking to see if we get a breakout here to the upside. Uh, or do we just kind of level out here on DocU? Lulu, we told you that was on a rampage ever since earnings. Just continued to climb. 311 up to 355. Just huge run. Uh, that's incredible. $40. So hopefully you caught some of that. Uh, but you see here we're kind of flattening out, pulling back here. We're kind of just coming down to this 50-day moving average. And we see if we bounce uh, like we did before. If we don't, you could start to break down and retrace some of this. This is a huge move on Lulu. Um, so definitely expect some type of pullback at some point here. But uh, what a run uh, all week. Uh, looking at our market watch here, uh, Tuesday, this is what we're talking. Um, let's see, Tuesday, actually we're in the following week. Let me pull back up here. So you see we got some inflation expectations coming out on Monday to prep us for Tuesday when we get the core CPI numbers. Uh, this can definitely have a huge effect on us. So just, just be aware of that. That's coming out pre-market too. So expect a, a shaky market open. Wednesday, uh, PPI comes out. Uh, could also have some of what of effect, not as much. And then Thursday, jobless claims, retail sales, import data, business inventories. Uh, definitely Thursday could be a shakeup day. And then we have Friday. Now, one of the things we have uh, options expiration week this week. Uh, so expect a lot of volatility, especially to close out this week. A lot of bull, a lot of bears out there. Bears have been pushing this market down. If the market's not coming down this week, after all the reports on Tuesday, uh, you know we could have one of those uh, big pushes on Friday if people have to cover their shorts. So just be aware of that. So it's going to be an interesting week. If you look at you know the institutions that are basically been hedging with put options. It's 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 more than any time in history. At least going back here to uh, to uh, two thousand, uh, we're huge hedging right now uh, with put options. Basically, people shorting the market. So at some point, they got to cover that money. So if if we come into expir expiration here and these guys are expiring, they need to cover their the, this all this money down here, which means they might have to start buying. And if they buy they could very well push the market up. So that is one option or one alternative that can happen. Here's here's your SPY S&P 500 call put ratio. And you can see huge, huge put volume contracts at 400, at 380, 370. 
Uh, now, calls came in. Now, this was almost empty, yes, last week. And so you see now a call coming in. This could be a little bit of hedging from the institutions that have shorted the market for so long, uh, expecting to come down. Uh, so there could be some hedging here. This could kind of balance out a little bit with the market. So we'll see kind of how this equals out during the week, next week. But you see right now, stock price and the max pain are kind of like right, right where they need to be. So if the market can hold this level, it's going to create the max pain of shutting out all these people on calls and all these people on puts, pulling back all those contracts, um, and the market wins. Uh, so we'll see what happens but uh, this week. But expect some volatility to, to occur. Uh, looking at the S&P 500 also uh, with a 50-day average, you can see with this peak of 92, which was kind of, you know, out out of line with the highs before then you see that uh you know we had that big sell-off we pull down here to support level where about 33 percent of companies were then still above the 50-day moving average from a 92 which is quite a huge difference and then we've had this little rally and this rally took basically 31 companies and took us up back up to 63 about half of here so we retrace about half of this which is kind of normal right you get a bull run and then you retrace 50% and then you retrace 50%. And that's exactly kind of what we, what we did. So we're sitting here kind of right even here. Um, that's about 63% per, uh, of companies, you know, basically above the 50 day moving average. Now, if we get back up into these ranges here, this 75, 76, 78 area, uh, you know, every time we've hit that area, we pull back. This was just an outrageous run. Uh, so just be careful that we could, you know, see still see a pullback here if we did. You know, it might be if we retrace again, might be, you know, down around, you know, this 50% range. So just something to be aware of. Uh, and if you haven't uh, subscribed, definitely subscribe and like the video and share it with others uh, so others can get this content as well if this is helpful for you. Uh, we also have a membership service out there. We have it uh, free or a chat and daily watch list where we post numbers before the market opens. Uh, or you can join us. And if you join us uh, in the group, then you have live trading, you have some training courses to take as well. Uh, we have about uh, 16 different uh, trading strategies so that you can kind of see which one fits you and the way that you want to trade because uh, nobody trades the same. Well, some people try to trade the same, but uh, there's so many, there's hundreds of ways of trading stocks and nobody has any clue most of the time other than one or two that they know of. Uh, but there's tons of ways to trade. And so we try to give you some options out there. Uh, there's group training that we have and also one-on-ones. Uh, including, you know, trying to check out your dashboard, see if we can help you kind of, you know, maybe tailor your dashboard to, uh, you know, your method of trading. Uh, also, uh, you know, as far as looking at the charts here, CMG, so Chipotle, we talked about this, uh, had a huge run after earnings, came back up here to these highs and then pulled back and then just ran right back up there again. So we're sitting here at a double top. Don't know if we're going to break out to the upside here. We might consolidate, pull back at some point. But a huge run for Chipotle on their stock. Tesla, kind of kind of in the zigzag pattern, kind of in a channel here. Uh, you know, if we come back up here, we've had this three-day run. We could run up a little bit further to this uh, support line and then pull back. Uh, we could pull back even right now, possibly, and uh, retrace uh, some of this, depending on how the market goes this week. But expecting, you know, it's possibly some little bit of upside. You know, we had that resistance on Friday at 300, just would not break through. If we do, we could go, you know, 308, 314 would be the next run up. Amazon, nice bullish run here as well. Have some gaps to fill in all these stocks to pull them back here. But, you know, Amazon, you know, 126, 130, 132, uh, if we continue to run this week. NVIDIA finally got going here after putting a new a new low in. Kind of consolidated down here for a few days, and now it's got back above the first resistance line. Looking for a run up to 149. If we break the resistance line, we could come back into that range again and be stuck, possibly, or break to new lows. Uh, Netflix, we got this huge gap right here. So if we can get up to you know break this 251 area, we could fill this gap. But right now we're kind of stuck in this range. We've been there for you know we have about three weeks worth of run here, so. We could continue to be stuck here at this resistance and pull back, um, but looking for hopefully this bullish momentum to continue and, and break us up uh, into the next range level. Apple really kind of resisting here. Also, you know, Mar Apple's a, a market mover 
and it's been sitting here flat. It finally broke out on Friday after sitting down in this uh, area and kind of, you know, breaking down here for a few weeks. So finally broke up. See if we can hold above this resistance line, and that's the 100 as well. See if we can get back up to the 15 and the 20, maybe, you know, get Apple running here. Microsoft, nice bullish run on Friday. It had broke the resistance line. It's heading up towards the 20, which is the 267, 62. So that would be the next mark. Looking at the 10-year yield, this affects the stocks. So you can see here uh, we've consolidated, which is good. You know, if we continue going up to highs here, this could definitely, you know, continue to bring the market down. That means money's falling into bonds instead of into stocks. Again, the two-year yield did hit two new new highs on the two-year. So just something to be aware of. This continues to elevate here. Uh, definitely, this could affect the market. So um, definitely want to see this pull back this week because uh, this is just a lot of strength here, especially for the government. Uh, you know, pulling back on their easing and uh, pulling back on their policies, trying to get their, their budgets back in balance. Uh, that's crazy to see that number just continue to, to skyrocket there. Look at inflation rates here right now. We're still at the towards the top here. We pulled back a little bit, but we're still in these highs. And as long as we're in these highs, the government's gonna continue to uh, you know, increase interest rates uh, um, and inflation you know, continue to uh, be elevated here. And they want the uh, interest rates to go up high enough to pull inflation back into control here. Look at the dollar index, pull them back here, which is what you wanna see. That means money can flow back into the market and not into the dollar. So, you know, we do have a support line here. We may hit it, we're at the 22, 20 day moving average. So we could find support here. If not, hopefully pull back down the 50. But right now, you know, that's kind of where we've been before, kind of just range bound in this area on the dollar. So dollar hopefully will keep pulling back. If it bounces off of here, market might have a down day here or two. Gold consolidating, kind of tagged that 20 day and rejected off of it. You got to see some momentum here to, to get back above there. Um, so gold's kind of sitting in a range that I, I wouldn't get into yet. Uh, not until we have some confirmation uh, that things are moving forward. Oil. Kind of sitting here right under the 200 day moving average, got a break of that above, you know, this uh, 171 area and hold it for a couple of days to get bullish again. Uh, and we do have a gap fill below that kind of gapped a couple of days. So we got to fill that as well. On the VIX, on the daily, you see we're right on this <clears throat> lower trend line, back on this trend line again. That could be support and you could bounce here or we could break down. Obviously, we want to break down. We really want to be below 20 if we can, if we want to keep this bull run going. If we start to break back up here, then the market could start to pull back here this week after this three-day run. Looking at the VIX on a weekly, you can see here uh, that we just kind of bounced down here or towards the low of this candle, which was a couple of weeks ago. Uh, we want to stay up, you know, it continues to, to break below that. If we stay up here and this kind of engulfs that, then we could just become flat right here, which then means the market could stagnate a little bit. Daily on the SPY, this is that bull run. See, we got a, almost to 100. We're above the 20 and the 50. We don't want to lose that. If we do, we'll fill this gap probably. I want to keep running this up if we can. Now that we're into this candle here, you know, then this could take us, you know, 413, 414, or maybe even as high as, you know, 420 would be the next major resistance area. If you look back here, this was a big consolidation area. This was resistance before. So, and then we have it here as well. So I uh, don't expect that we could, you know, we could pull back right here just based on this. But, you know, if we can get a couple of days in, maybe, maybe we get Monday in and then Tuesday is, if it's good news, which, you know, could possibly be the case, we can continue to run this bull up here. If not, then we could see the pullback. So just, I'm just, just be cautious, especially if you're not in anything right now. It might be better to stay in cash, but that's not financial advice, just a thought. On weekly, we're up to the 20, but that could be resistance. So just be aware of that. Uh, but we're above this candle and right tag in the top of this, the bottom of this candle here. We're going to triple Qs. Nice run up. We're resisting on the 20 and the 50. So again, we're going to need momentum and volume to come in here. You can see some good volume days coming in. So it's possible to break up there. Just don't know how far it's going to take us before we pull back again. 
Semiconductor, same thing. Nice little run up, nice gap. Everything is gapping, which means we got to go back and fill gaps. So that's where that possibility of pulling back down to fill these gaps is a possibility in a lot of these indexes. Uh, but we're sandwiched between a gap and the 20. So just watch that carefully. IWM, we're above the 20 and the 50. So hopefully we can run up here, find resistance here at 189 that we got to break through. Financials, nice, strong, strong week, especially on Friday. Look at this boom. So this this is positive for me. Looking at the financial scene, that strength come in. We can keep this running up here towards the 200 day. It's around $35. That is a nice bullish, and that can keep us going. Looking at the uh, healthcare, healthcare had a nice run too. Look at this, these bars on healthcare. Great close out of the week, above all the moving averages now again. Uh, but we are in this channel here, or this wedge here. You can see Pat topped it here, back here in uh, in April, topped it again in August, pulled back down, found support for a few days, back up. So it, resistance would be about right up here around 132.50 area uh, would be the next area resistance. And so with this nice bullish move to get us above the movement averages, but just know there's resistance above. Bitcoin had a good, great weekend. Uh, great weekend, got above the 20, got above the 50. We're just holding there, um, trying to hold on to that place. But I don't like the volume here. The volumes are, are really low. So I don't know if it's enough to sustain support this. We'll see. We need a few days to hold above here, see if we can break out higher. Otherwise, we could you know, hit this resistance area and pull right back again. We're looking to see if Bitcoin can uh, get some strength here and hold on to it. Ethereum breaking out of this wedge. So that's positive. We could come back there and retest it, but we need to really get above this uh, 1772 area so we can run up towards uh, 2000. So looking to see if we can get above that, uh, but you can see here right now we're at resistance. Luna Classic, hopefully took profits on this. We talked about this huge run on Luna, kind of pulling back, consolidating now, trying to find that area of support. This engulfing candle is the range now, uh, basically between, you know, 36 and, you know, 50, you know, and, but it's, you know, it went as high as 60. So, but yeah, this is kind of the range we're in right now uh, until, you know, we can get some level of consolidation and then a breakup or breakdown. So Aluna, great run for those who are in it. So we'll see what it brings in here in the future. Again, join us on our free discord. Uh, you can chat with us. Uh, we have daily lists published out there. We have a membership as well. If you want to learn more about our company and what we offer, click on the link right here on the main page, and that'll give you more information about who we are, or just reach out to us. Uh, and this, you know, we have a master training course out there again. Some things to take advantage of, some things to consider if you're learning, you're new to trading, or you want somebody to kind of check out what you have set up and see if, uh, you know, we can improve it. Uh, just let us know, reach out to us. Uh, but that's it. So uh, everybody have a great uh, rest of the weekend. We'll talk to you on Monday night. See how the day went and uh, what we need to do to plan for Tuesday, which is the big, uh, big announcement for C C CPI data. So uh, stay tuned.